Today I'm going to show you a great organizational tool called Poplet. When I open it up um, on my iPad, I also know that I can go to my computer and go to www.poplet.com and get the same experience. So this is such a great organizational tool for any of your notes that you're taking or um, you're doing characters and you're doing character traits. The first thing you want to do is let's get rid of my poplet. So let's call this all about me. You're about to learn about Mrs. Ledford. So create your title. And maybe that is somebody you're studying in school. Maybe it's a book that you're reading. So whatever you're going to organize. Next, you wanna tap on the color swatch and you get to pick any color that you would like. So I'm gonna leave mine blue. That's one of my favorite colors. And now I'm going to tap the gear. And it says, make a new popple. All right, there we go. So a box appears and this is called a popple. The corners allow me to get smaller and larger, longer. The gray circles, when you tap those, a new popple will appear. And that is great for connecting ideas. So right now I just wanna get rid of that popple. And so when you touch the popple, an X will appear. You can delete that popple and make it a little easier to work. Um, you always wanna work one square at a time. So let's start off with the T, which is for text. And we're going to type my name. Ledford. And you'll notice in the corner I can make my font larger or smaller. I can um, center it or move it to the left or the right. So now I'm ready to add another popple. And this time I'd like to add a picture. So you see the mountain icon. When you tap it the first time it might ask for access to your photo library. So go ahead and hit OK. Um, I'm ready to open my library, and the thing that I'm looking for is my dog, Brody. There he is, and he's going to be right in there. We're going to move him off to the side, and I'm going to change the color by tapping the rectangle at the bottom to red. So if I were to include pictures of my children or my husband, I might give them all a red frame. So those are animals or people that I love. The next thing that I wanna do is maybe some food that I love. So I'll drag this down here and what color should we give the food? Let's give the food the orange color. And you'll notice that um, just by touching the screen, I can make things larger or smaller, work in one area or another. So as I tap my square, I love tacos. So I am going to write tacos. And I'm feeling very creative, so I'm going to tap the pen and I'm going to draw a taco. No judgment on my art ability, please. All I have to do is tap the pen again and I get a new color. Here's my lettuce maybe little bits of tomato in there. Yum, now I'm getting hungry. Let's make that a little smaller. Every time I tap a gray circle, I'm, I can make um, a new popple. And so let's add one more. So I've got um, a human or a animal that I love, food that I love, and let's go in here and grab some flowers. I absolutely love gardening. And so let's turn that green. Okay, so now you begin to see that I can build on an idea. Mrs. Ledford is my center and then things that I love all around it and I can color code it. So that's a little bit about Poplet and um, I hope you enjoy using it. Before I let you go, you're probably thinking, Mrs. Ledford, what am I going to do now? Tap on export and you will see that you have three options. For school use, I recommend saving as a JPEG. Once you do that, it automatically goes into your camera roll. Then you can upload it to different sites. You can share it on Google Classroom or Seesaw, but it's right there in your photo library. I hope
hope you enjoy using Poplet.